Okay, guys, so my mom just told me that I guess like a car crashed into our ditch in front of our house. So I'm just gonna go check it out and like see what happened. I don't really know what really happened. She just told me that like a car, she didn't even see it, but a car like crashed in our ditch in front of our house. Look, oh my god. Can you guys see that? Literally the tire tracks. I guess it went in like right here. And I guess like the freaking like stuff right there. If, if you were the one that crashed your car here, um, I hate you because you didn't crash enough that you couldn't move. So I could have titled this video a car crash in front of my house. So screw you, man. What is up, guys? It's actually a couple days later now since I filmed that clip. It was like a Saturday. Um, I'm sorry if I don't upload a video in a couple days. I got super sick and I still kind of I'm still kind of sick. Last night I just started feeling like a super bad sore throat. My throat has been hurt super bad and I've had like strep throat like six times in the past year. For you to get your tonsils removed, you have to have it eight times. So I have to get it two more times to get my tonsils removed so I don't get strep throat every other day. I'm not feeling the best. Um, but we're still in power through this video, guys. Um, I have a good idea. Ethan, Ethan got this new Nerf gun that shoots these little orange balls. I'm just gonna play with it because it's like super powerful and I really don't think it's meant for kids because well He shot me in the back with it and I have a big red welt right there And it really hurts. So yeah, I'm just gonna play with it and like tet do experiments to see if it is really meant for kids or not So let's just get straight into this video guys. Um, I'm gonna try to get back to daily and at some point, I just want to like finish like at the year, like and then probably in the next two weeks, I'll like start uploading a video every day and not like not miss a day. I've been it's just been kind of crazy lately, but we'll get back and I'm really thankful for you guys. Keep watching, tell your friends to watch. Thank you guys. But anyways, guys, let's just get straight in this video, guys. Okay, guys. So I've got our test weapon. Hopefully, this video doesn't get taken down because YouTube and they don't like guns and they don't like toys. This is just um. It's just like this off-brand, kind of like Nerf gun thing. Shoot these little like orange cheese ball things. But yeah, so you put them in this little tank right here. Here, there's already one in there. You put them in this little tank up here. And then you cock it back like this. And then you shoot it, and then it puts a weld in your back like I got on mine. I don't think this is probably meant for toys. Or for kids, I mean. It's really not... It shoots like really powerful. It like actually has kick to it, like even more than just like a regular BB gun or whatever. It hurts really bad, and yeah, Ethan, we got this for Ethan, and yeah, we told him he can only play with it outside because like literally it hurts so bad. Um, I don't think this is a kid toy. It should be a kid toy. I don't think whoever made this Adventure Force, and it says it on the box, it says it's rated for five plus, and yeah, I, I think that's totally wrong because this is not. In my book, a kid's toy. To see if it's a kid's toy. So my plan. I have these red cups right here. And these cups. And I'm going to fill them up with my water. With my water can over there. And I'm going to shoot them. And see if they rupture. And if they rupture, then they're not a kid's toy. Because I want to prove my theory that this is not a kid's toy. And if they do rupture, then my my theory is proven correct. I'm going to put the test subjects onto that table and shoot them. You get some water. You get some water. I filled them pretty much halfway up, all of them right there. So my thoughts are that they might go through the, the red cups and they might go through the clear cups in the back. And if they do, then they're definitely not for young children. Let's test this theory. This reminds me of like a paintball gun. I'll just put five in there because there's five cups. Take the safe. See, look, this is this. Have you ever seen a Nerf gun that has a safety on it? Yeah, me either. I'm about to take my first shots. 
I got the camera rolling over there. Let's see. You know the one thing I don't like about this gun? There's no, like, aim, so it's really hard to get a good shot, but... I missed the first one. This is just a test that I'm a horrible aim. God! I missed all of them. Oh, and I just hit my freaking camera, oh my god. bit closer because it's hard to aim because there's no aim on this. I hit it. Let's see what the damage is. The cup is not punctured at all. Maybe I should just move a little bit closer to maybe it'll get punctured. I don't really know. Now I've got it. Going on. Oh my gosh. I missed by a mile. What the heck? Yes! It finally hit it. it. seemed to completely knock the cup over, but it doesn't seem that it punctured it. I will prove my theory correct. I mean, but that's still one child dead. Ah. Let's see if that punctured that I put the clear cup in front. It went in this hole right here. It went through this hole right here. Crazy. It seems that the plastic, these clear cups are stronger than the solo cups. I'm just gonna try a couple more times just to prove my theory. To be honest, probably couldn't kill anybody or anything. I mean, it's a Nerf gun. I mean, there's regulations, but I'm proving that this is not for kids. Gotta miss. Cha-ching! What the heck? Guys. I shot it and it hit a ricochet off the red cup and landed it in the red cup. I totally meant to do that. Just knocked it over. And totally missed it. There we go, finally hit it. Time it did not get punctured. Crap. Well, I think we've kind of seen that this is not really a, a kid go gun. It did some good damage to the cups. But I guess as long as you're like letting your kids like monitoring and playing with it. There's no bullets in there. Well, I mean, I think we kind of learned from this that I'm I'm pretty much the best aim in the world. Oh my gosh, I missed by a mile. What the heck? Just kidding. Yeah, that really didn't work. I kind of cracked my phone by shooting it with the gun. You see that? Yeah. That's what this gun did to it when I sh accidentally shot it. That's why I didn't get any behind cameras. But, I mean, I did a pretty good job. Don't roast me for wasting water, guys. I am a conservationist. And I'm going to pick up all these cups, and then I'm going to pick up the 10,000 bullets that I shot in the yard. The damage. This is the one that went entirely through. It entered right here and left right there. So satisfying. I'll do one trick because I'm sick and I don't want to do any more. Ugh. Ugh. My spleen! Hey guys, that's it in today's video. Peace out, rolled outro, bye. Just kidding, you thought I was gonna leave you guys hanging. We gotta get some family in this vlog. Guys, Aiden broke his wrist. You can't really see, he doesn't wanna be on camera. He kinda broke his wrist or whatever, he has a little cast thing on it. I guess so whatever happened to him was like, we were filming this thing for my school project or whatever, video thing that I do for school. And um, we were out jumping on the trampoline and we took a break. And, um, yeah, he, like, picked up the trampoline while, he, while I was jumping on it, and I jumped, and he it was in the air, and then I landed, and it went, and it, like, broke his wrist or something. It was pretty crazy, but I think he's fine. But, yeah. News in the family, brother. None of my family wants to be on camera, so. This is pretty much in today's video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to leave a like and share with friends you enjoy, and subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you guys next one. Peace out. Roll out, drain my phone.